Hey, hey, it's Sanford here, inspirational life coach to the arts, the art of sport, the art of entertainment, and the art of life. And you are joining me on the 14th day of the Unlock to Unleash video series. This, of course, is the last day of the series, but like I said yesterday in my video, I'm going to keep on doing these videos. Now, I've always done videos, but I've gotten so much feedback on the direction of these videos, dealing with our youth and our fears and our anxieties, uh, PTSD, um, issues that pertain a lot to our, to our kids and uh, to us as adults that we remember as kids as well. Now, I just want to thank uh, Sherry and uh, Brad, uh, Susan, uh, Albert, uh, Sarah, uh, Tammy, uh, and Paula. Thank you guys. Uh, that's just a few of the people. Thank you guys for supporting these videos. It's, it's been a blast getting your feedback um, and uh, knowing that you're getting a lot out of this. So thank you guys very much. Um, today I want to talk about DNA. DNA, the DNA of life. It has been um, said that we cannot possibly know where we're going unless we know where we came from. Now it may seem cliche, but if you look at say, the entrepreneur and billionaire Warren Buffett, he not only reads the newspapers from yesterday, the day before, but he reads newspapers from uh, the 1960s and 1950s. Why? <laughs> Why does he do that? Because time repeats itself. Time repeats itself. And he learned that, that time repeats itself. And so it's important that we understand that as adults, that our children will repeat some of the same mess ups, some of the painful stuff that we did, some of the errors that we made, and notwithstanding some of the great things that we did as well. But if we want to try to help them to navigate those painful areas and avoid perhaps some of the stuff that we did, we need to recognize that. They're gonna do some of the same things. If you've been through a divorce, what makes you think they won't go through a divorce? If you're not great at handling uh, confrontation, what makes you think they're going to be great at handling confrontation? If they go off the handle and blow up every time somebody faces them with a little issue here and there, where do you think that comes from? Where do you think that comes from? We are our children's first teacher. Now, there's nothing to say that we can't change the script. We can't flip the script. But we got to be aware of it first. And that's no excuse for our kids. I'm not putting excuses for our kids. You know, um, the other day I was coaching a child and she didn't like the way I was coaching. So she ran out to her mom, hid behind her mom and said she didn't like uh, the coaching class and she was in pain and her mom said, okay. And, and that was it. No discussion with me. Um, uh, she didn't allow me to talk to the child. Um, and th that was it. So this is how that particular situation went and this is how that mother is demonstrating to that child how to handle conflict how to handle conflict now if there was other issues going on i don't know i, I was never handed a discussion behind that but we teach our children how they should be if we are telling our child okay when you are at school i want you to get straight a's i want you to be the fastest i want you to be the best i want you to be number one they may be all those things but what it, at, at, at what cost now if, if our child is at school and they're stuffing around um, and their grades are going down or they're not getting good grades and they're constantly um, uh, bullying people or pushing people around or acting up or talking a lot in class, then where is that coming from? It may not be directly coming from their role models, their parents, their, their, their mentors, uh, uh, their grandparents, the people that they look up to, but there's something happening there indirectly. And... I just think it's important to recognize these things. If we can recognize them as adults, we can start to shift them. If we can recognize them as teenagers, we can start to shift them. If we can recognize them as adolescents, we can start to shift them. But who helps us to start that shift? Me? You? We? Us? We're it. We get to change our dialogue. We get to change our destiny when we become conscious. And doing these videos over the last 14 days has really settled me in to understand something very important. That my purpose, my what, 
is changing, shifting, not only myself, but the youth in our society who are in pain, who are watching way too much TV, who are watching way, way too many of YouTube videos, who's, watching, who's, who's on Twitter way too long and all whatever the newest <laughs> devices are coming up, you know, they're useful, they're handy. I'm not saying that. Get on and, and promote yourself and, and, and look at the latest things and, 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 and be inspired and create more things in the, in the Internet world. But what I want our youth to understand is what you see on Facebook, on Instagram, they're showing you the highlights of their life. These are the highlights of their life. They're not showing you the struggles that they're having with food. They're not showing you the struggles that their boyfriend or their girlfriend are, are, is abusing them physically or mentally. They're not showing you those days when they're feeling doom and gloom. They're not showing you those days where they got A's on their report card and they got one B and they about lost their mind. You're not seeing that. But if there's something super negative on TV, the media will show you that in a minute and tell you that that's what life's all about. There's something super negative on Facebook, they'll put it there. And they'll tell you that that's what life's all about. Okay? There's very little positive, long information on the news of Facebook. And what is on Facebook are the short bursts of the highlights. What's happening? How they get to those highlights? What brought them? What was the struggles that brought them to those highlights? What's going on in their life now? Look behind their eyes. When people come on Facebook and Instagram, look behind their eyes. Use not simply this, but this. See with your heart. See with your heart. And so this is, this is, this is my journey. This is my journey and this is my purpose, is to open people up to their fears, their anxieties, and then lead them into their greatest potential, their greatest potential, their extraordinary potential. And as you well know, the Sport and Active Unlock to Unleash workshop is coming up at the end of September, September 20th to the 24th. You can hit me up here for more information. It's all happening. It's all happening. It's all very exciting. I'm excited about it. Remember, we're going to be doing karate. We got theater. We got tumbling. Uh, we got fresh food eating. Uh, we're going to have movies. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Um, and um, I really hope you guys can join me. It, we have so far we have what do we got six seven eight eight people involved and we also have i got a grant from the uh, queensland government of a thousand dollars and so i was giving 10 people a hundred dollars off of their total price and so far four people have used that at this juncture so no sorry six six people have used it at this juncture okay so hit me up here check me out on info at SanfordMcMurrayJr.com. Also, my website is up, so get on and check that out. www.SanfordMcMurrayJr.com. Check it out, check it out. It's your boy Sanford here. Thank you guys very much. And as always, say it with me, say it with me. Love your mission. <laughs> Peace.